when nearly at the end of the function section. Today we're going to practice decomposition and this time we're going to do it from scratch. You can see that there are no functions given to us. One, that means that we're getting better and two, that means that the puzzles are getting harder. Challenge accepted. There are switches in four directions and we need to toggle them all. But I can see a little repeating pattern immediately. Can you see one? All right. The repeating pattern that I'm thinking of is move forward two times and then toggle switch. You can use it on the side by is facing, on the side behind her, and the two sides on the right and the left. Okay, let's define this function first. I'm going to call it move then toggle. First, let's write funk and the name, lowercase m for move, uppercase t for then, and uppercase t for toggle. Great. Now, let's write the function body. Now, we need to write up all the commands that make move then toggle, which is move forward, move forward, and then toggle switch. Great, now let's call move then toggle to solve this direction. Great, let's run our code. Great, now that she's toggled the switch, we need to get her back to the center so that we can call move then toggle again. Let's write turn right, turn right. And then we need to write move forward, move forward. Now with that, she'll be in the center. So now let's write move then toggle. Let's run our code. Great. And now that she's toggled that switch, we need to get her back to the center. Turn right, turn right, move forward, move forward. Let's run our code. Great. Now, to solve the other side, we can use two move then toggles so that it finishes that whole side. But if we wanted to do it in an easier way, then we can define another function, which is what we're going to do. Let's call it solve side. Let's define our function after our previous function. Now let's write func. Now let's write the name. Great. Now let's write the function body. We need to do move then toggle two times. So we can just call two move then toggles. After that, bike will be at the end. Now we need to turn around and go back four times. Let's write turn right, turn right, move forward, move forward. Now in our program, let's turn left one time and let's write solve side. Now, let's run our code. Great! Now we can just write solve side. Let's run our code. Stellar work, everybody. We have just finished functions. I can't believe that just a few weeks ago, we were just totally new to programming and we didn't really know anything. And now we finished two big topics in programming and we have a ton of practice. Well done, everybody. This deserves a big pat on the back. I would actually ask for a cake from your parents. 
Next week, we're gonna start with a totally new series, loops. Loops are a great way to tell the computer to repeat something again and again. They are so cool, I can't wait. If you wanna know when my next video is, it's easy, just subscribe. As always, I am so happy that you're coding with me. Bye for now.